So what exactly are constants? In computer science, a constant is a value that never changes. So how exactly do you declare a constant? In GDScript, constants are declared with the keyword const, spelled C-O-N-S-T, followed by a unique name, an equal sign symbol, and a value. All of these are required. You cannot assign an empty constant. You cannot have a constant without an assigned value. The only thing separating a variable from a constant is the keyword. Everything else is exactly the same. Just like variables, keep in mind that each and every variable and constant you declare must have a unique name or an error will be thrown. Now, just like variables, you may also add a data type explicitly by adding a colon sign symbol followed by the data type. In this case, we have declared a constant called value never changes and assigned it the data type integer, which is assigned the literal integer one. Assigning a data type to a constant is not necessary as the data type is inferred to the constant with the assigned value. Basically, a constant declaration format looks like the following. You have the keyword const followed by a unique name for the constant with the option to a data type. But this must be followed by an equal sign symbol followed by a literal or data object. Everything in yellow is required while everything in white in the parentheses is optional. One thing to note is that constants are read only after declaration. Therefore, modifications are not permitted after declaration and assignment. Let's take a look at a quick example. We declared a constant value never changes and assigned it the literal integer one. Somewhere in the code after the declaration, if we try to assign a new value to our constant value never changes, in this case, we are trying to assign it the value 100, this will throw an error in GDD script. There are pros when using constants. One thing I notice with beginners is the use of literal values. Beginners tend to use literal values instead of assigning literal values to constants. I recommend using constants because you'll have an easier time debugging, you'll save time when editing code, and of course, easier time reading code. One thing I notice with beginners is this question, aren't constants the same as literals? And yes. You can use literals instead of constants. To the compiler, it doesn't make a difference how values are given. However, for the sake of readable code and easier debugging, you should use constants. Let's take a look at some examples. So to a beginner, let's say that they have a speed for their game items. And in this case, they need to use an integer value of five. What a beginner typically does is they just hard inject literal values. In this case, you can see we have three variables a player speed, a laser speed, and a boomerang speed, all being assigned the literal integer 5. Now let's say we need to change our main speed for the game to be 10 instead of 5. Now we've gone ahead and changed the speed to 10. In our case, to change our main speed for game items, we needed to manually find and edit three lines of code. Now this doesn't seem to be a lot of work for three lines of code. However, if we had more code, this would take more time. In this case, we have 20 variables that rely on the speed value 10. As you can see, we have 20 lines of code. Now imagine if we had to change 20 lines of code when we decided that the speed is too fast. You're in trouble now because you need to change 20 lines of code. That means you need to take the time to manually find in your script any code that uses your speed and you have to find them all. And if you fail to find them all, if you even forget about one line of code that uses the old value speed 10, your game may perform as it's not intended to perform because you forgot one line of code. Let's go ahead and fix this. Instead of hard coding the speed for the game as a literal value, instead we will assign that value to a constant. In this case, we have a constant speed, which is equal to five, five being the value for our speed in our game. Now that we have our constant called speed, which holds our speed for the game, in this case five, we can go ahead and work on our game. As time passes by, maybe we have a thousand line of code that rely on our constant speed. As you can see here, we have changed one line of code. We have changed the speed from five to 10. 
And now this change in our value to our constant speed will propagate to the rest of our code. As you can see here, we have essentially edited a thousand line of code by just changing one line of code. As you can see here, this is the power of using constants instead of injecting literal values. I recommend using constants when you want to declare a value that you know will never change in the life cycle of your game. For example, you may have a player and that player may have a height and a width. Instead of injecting the raw literal value all over your code, assign that value to a constant and then assign that constant to your code. In this case, this is good practice because the player height and player width will most likely never change throughout the game lifecycle. And if you do happen to want to change the value, all you have to do is change one line of code and it propagates to the rest of your code. One thing to keep in mind is the naming convention when using constants. Make sure that naming conventions for constants are visually different than variables. This is recommended to help you as a programmer recognize what is a constant versus what is a variable when looking through your code. Let's take a look. Notice how all my constants start with an uppercase. This is so that I can visually know that when I read anything with an uppercase in its name, that it is a constant and that I intend to never change its value. Now this is different than how I declare my variables. As you notice, I declare my variables starting in lowercase. This is so when I see anything starting with lowercase, I know that the value can change. Another example of a constant being visually different than a variable is some people tend to use uppercase to name their constants while using whatever they want with their variables. Again, you don't have to use this. They are visually different. Use whatever you are comfortable with. Again, just make sure that to help you as a programmer that the constant is visually different than the variable.